Hey everybody, we are back. Hope you all got up for a moment, stretch your legs, all that jazz. Personally, got myself a monster. Mmm, nectar of the gods. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay. I also fixed my stream deck. Small issue. Fixed it though. So it should be good to go. And y'all, let's get back into it. Boom. Awesome. Monster holes. <laughs> Indeed, Levi. Indeed. Uh, so about naming people, we can change people's names basically whenever we want. So because of that, I think we'll be just changing out people's names as stuff happens. Yeah. So just because I named somebody or named a PG Levi doesn't mean we're not going to have another Levi later on. Yeah. And also, since Bam subbed last, currently our Nidoran is kind of a boss. So this Nidoran is now going to be known as Bam. Yeah. Yep, it is. Bam. Boom. Now we have Bam following us in the field. That's amazing. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, a new trainer. I'm a coach trainer. Coach trainers are the ones who stand in various places to train trainers. I am one of them. That was super repetitive. We coach trainers are strong, if I do say so myself. If you want to try out your strength, you should definitely battle us. Sure. What's up, bro? You look like someone who wants to try your own strength. Do you want to have a Pokemon battle with me? A coach trainer? Sure. Okay, let's see how Bam does against this coach trainer. Trainer Kareem? Kareem? Okay, let's see what you got, bro. Mmm. It's a Bulbasaur. Well, if Bam doesn't take care of it, Mr. Levi's gonna wreck him. Uh, fight. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we have Peck. Oh, sweet. He's going down. That's a flying type move. We don't have the same attack type bonus, so it won't be super strong, but still super effective. Leech Sheen, that's fine. Honestly, that's gonna not gonna make too much. It's gonna, it was gonna take ha, it was we were going to have to take three attacks to kill this Bulbasaur anyways with their current damage range. So I don't think that the Leech Sheen will make it into four hits. No. Actually, maybe. It may just push us into the into four hits to kill him. Yeah, it will actually. Huh. Okay. So the leash lead per postponed its death by one turn. That happens. Bam's still holding on like a boss though. I think it's hilarious how Peck is a flying type move, and he's pecking with his horn, which doesn't make any sense for it being a flying type, but I get it when it's on a bird in his peck, but whatever. Oddish level 9, nice. Mr. Levi level 13, sweet. And we won! Good job, bam! That's legit. You defeated a coach trainer, just like that. In honor of your strength, I have a gift for you. Oh, we got a revive. Sweet. Okay, we know what they do. Okay, so let's switch out. Okay, bam, you're being awesome. Um, but since you're a bit... Let's go and throw a silent at the front, just so we don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center just yet. Because I, I want you to still get experience points. I think it's hilarious how I'm talking about the Pokemon I've nicknamed Bam, like I'm talking to the person named Bam. They are two different people. This isn't going to be confusing at all for him. <laughs> all right, Oddish, uh, that's fine. A level six, yeah, that's fine. We'll just use some quick attacks. <laughs> Bam, nah. <laughs> Not confused. Well, good, I'm glad. I am loving these graphics, though. Oh, you can hear it in my voice? Yeah. I guess when I'm monologuing about the game, 
and my Pokemon, I have a different inflection than I do when I'm addressing someone in chat. So I guess that's fair. That's fair. Okay, uh, there's a Pokeball there we want to go up and get. Three more Pokeballs, sweet. This game is super generous on the amount of Pokeballs it gives us. I'm okay with that. I don't know, my one complaint with Pokemon Go was that their, mon their monetization method was to monetize Pokeballs and make Pokeballs a valuable resource. And because of that, you couldn't just spam your Pokeballs. Because then if you ran out, you either had to pay for real money or go find a Pokestop, right? So, when this setup, we're using the same throw mechanics but a bit have battling and trading. Yeah, this is just a better version of Pokemon Go. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Did anyone else jump on the Pokemon Go bandwagon when it first came out? I know I did. I played it a ton when it first came out. We went on hikes. Me and the wife went on hikes and went to different parks and different stuff to try to go look for Pokemon. There's this one park in San Antonio, uh, McAllister Park, I think it is. It's a huge park where tons of Ponyta would spawn. Tons of Ponyta. So if you wanted a Ponyta and you were in San Antonio, that's the place you would go. Um, and I remember that. It was just fun. So what have we got? Another Nidoran? All right. Um, hmm. Ooh, what type is Nidoran? Is he what, poison? That's actually a good point. What type is Nadron? Is he normal poison right now? No, not that it matters. I kind of just one shot at him. But I would like to know. I'm totally looking it up on my phone. I have a poke I have a Pokedex on my home screen. Because I love Pokemon. Even though I don't play the games regularly, I consult it often. <laughs> not often enough, it seems though. Uh oh, Nidoran is just poison right now. Interesting. They get their second typing when they hit the third stage of evolution. When they get... Uh, oh, we got two great balls from that guy? Snap. Okay. Um, I believe we might be able to catch a Jigglypuff in here. I might be able to help you later, Asami. After the stream, if you need something. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to destroy this person with a Thundershock. Yeah, Silent is going to wreck shop here. Yeah. Trekkie's level 10. Sweet. What was Trekkie? Was Trekkie our Metapod? Yeah, I think Trekkie was our Metapod. Oh! Uh, we'll get that Butterfree. Here we go. Let's go. Butterfree time. Oh, look at that Butterfree. That's nice. Your Trekkie evolved into a Butterfree. Oh, that's amazing. Awesome. Its wings covered with a poisonous powder repel water. This allows it to fly in the rain. That's cool. It weighs 90 pounds and is 4 feet tall. Y'all, that is terrifying. If you think about it, if you think about a four foot tall, 90 pound bug flying at you, that is terrifying. What? Okay, let's go ahead. So we have our Butterfree ready to go, right? Um... Do we want to keep our Butterfree in our party? I kind of do. Just because I want to watch it fly behind me. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, now the question is, does the Pokemon have to be in our party for it to fly behind us? Like, if we go to this Caterpie, and I just, like, select it to move out, no, you can't. You can't. Okay. So yeah, 
I'm totally having this Butterfree, Trekkie, fly behind me, because this is amazing. Look, look at it, it's majestic. <laughs> Alright, let's fight Shorts Boy. Youngster Ben. Rattata? Okay. Okay, uh, Thundershock? Yeah. Oh, quick attack. I, I see you. I see you with the quick attack. Critical hit. Not needed, but hey, that works. Yeah, it seems that catching Pokemon gives a ton more experience than fighting does. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, fighting all of these trainers for money, because again, uh, for those who don't know, for, in Pokemon, the way you get money is by beating other trainers and beating gems and stuff. Um, the other way you get money is by selling items that you pick up, but you don't get money just from, like, defeating wild Pokemon. So because of that, I don't, in this game, if you're trying to train by catching lots of wild Pokemon, and you run out of Pokemon, and you run out of Pokeballs, that's kind of bad. So yeah, having lots of money is a good thing. That's why we're not going to try to shiny hunt until the end of the game. Oh, it found something for us. What did it find for us? Tricky found something in the plants. Got a raspberry. Hey, good job, Tricky. Well, that's cool. Oh, a Minky! Awesome. I want a Minky. I don't know, wild Minky. Okay, uh, bag. Raspberry. Use this item. Is this still gonna be yellow? It's still gonna be yellow. Okay. Uh, too late, and it attacked it. Okay. There we go. Excellent. Good. Let's see if this works. Two, three. Boom. There it is. Got the Mankey. 48 experience. Nice. Oddish leveled up. Good. When is Mr. Levi going to level up? Into Pidgeotto. Maybe like 16? Fighting type Pokemon. An agile Pokemon lives in trees. It angers easily and will not hesitate to attack anything. Okay. Sounds good, Mankey. Ooh, Sandshrew. Yeah, I want an Alolan Sandshrew. Apparently, the Alolan Sandshrew is unique or exclusive to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. So I really wanted him. One of the reasons why I got this version of the game. Oh, nice. Nice, got the Sandshrew. 54 experience points. Awesome. Yeah, Rattata is something that we're definitely going to get rid of as soon as he evolves into Eradicate. Uh, good. Cool. His body is dry. When it gets cold at night, it hides. Its hide is said to become coated with a fine dew. Interesting. Okay. That's cool. Okay, we got some Spearows over here. What's up north? Is this the Pokemon Center for Mount Moon? Oh, it's another, it's another coach. Okay. Sure, let's fight another coach. Uh, sure. Let's fight this coach trainer. The last one was pretty easy. He did, his Pokemon was a few levels higher than everybody else's on the trail, but it wasn't like hard. Hey, Meowth, that's gonna be a normal type Pokemon. So, because my Pikachu has double kick, this should be a pretty easy fight. Uh, fighting is super effective against normal type Pokemon. Yeah. And we'll just go with a... Coins were scattered everywhere. And we'll do a, a quick attack to finish it off. Boom. 
Yeah, easy enough. 74 experience points, which, but really I want to fight this guy because the last one gave me an item and he gave me 13 or 1300 dollars. Wow. And we got payday for it. Okay. Okay, cool. Ouch, a trip over a geodude lying on the ground. Oh, what's this guy doing? I came to Mount Moon from far away because I want a Pokemon I can ride on. That's right. You can ride on certain Pokemon like Onyx. I want to ride on Onyx. There we go. Apparently, I didn't completely fix my Elgato stream deck yet. I, uh, my mute button now just mutes. It doesn't unmute. <laughs> uh, well, that's fun. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. And then I actually want to head back down and see if we can't find any other Pokemon in this grass. Because we did find a Mankey, which is cool. I also want to see if we can't find a Jigglypuff. I think it might be Jigglypuff down here. Okay, that guy's just talking about our Pokemon box bag, which is kind of crazy. Oh, a Magic over $500? Um, if we get it now, we can probably go ahead and start training it up so we can get a Gyarados. So I'll go ahead and buy it. You paid an outrageous five hundred dollars and bought that magic carp. <laughs> uh, worth, worth. Famous for being very unreliable, it can be found swimming in seas, lakes, rivers, and shadow puddles. Yeah, I'm okay with this. Yeah, because I want a Gyarados. So party. Uh, let's switch out the Rattata. Oh, I need to go to my bag. Here we go. Boom. Add to party. Over the Rattata. And then I also want to move him up here. I like having my party all up here. That'll make things easier for me. Also, rearrange. Three. Oh, but they're going to move around as I move them around in my actual party, huh? Okay, so keeping this line in order is going to be near impossible. Or it's not going to be impossible, but it be really tedious. So I'm not to try to forget about that. Okay. What else you got? Team Rocket attacking the good of people, the good people of Cerulean City and in their own homes. Not a day goes by without Team Rocket being in the news for some crime or another. Okay. Do we now have a... Oh, can we make the magic carp ride behind us? That'd be hilarious. Can I take him out of the Pokeball? Does it just like flop behind us the entire time? It does. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Okay, bag. Um, I don't really want to use a berry for this. So let's just try to do it without a berry. Oh, it was the next one. I guess I didn't quite get it in the center of the circle. Is that gonna catch then? Yeah, it did. Nice. Sweet. Very good then. Only 16 experience points though. Okay, we're, if we're going for levels, we definitely have to focus on the big or the tiny. Uh, here's a tiny sand true. Let's catch this guy. It's tiny. Oh. Pay for it. No. I felt like there was a delay there. Like, I did this, and then a second later, then it threw. Okay, let's try that again. No. Wait, what? It hit it, and it's like bounced off. Apparently, I don't understand one of these mechanics yet. 
maybe it's because I'm starting high. Maybe I need to start low and do the full motion of like down, up, and then down. 